the Rhino Ganatha. This is the latest creature that has been added to Art Survival Evolved, and loads of you are asking how to tame it, so here's how. The Rhino Ganatha spawns on the island and the Lost Island in any swamp area. As you can see, that is the swamp area on the island. Here is also the swamp area for the Lost Island. Now, I use Creature Finder Deluxe to find my creatures, and luckily it has been updated, so it's in there but just find it in any swamp area if you do not have this. If you're on a single player world and these aren't spawning for you, you can always change your dino count number to get these to spawn in. If you're on a server, you're just gonna have to wait. On a single player world or a server you own, you can also use the dino wipe command or destroy all dinos. Once you enter this command, you'll have a brief stutter, but it will reset all the dino spawns on your map. Now, if you're going to want to get good effectiveness, you're going to need a creature like a Bronto to be the host of this tame. I say to use a Bronto, not a Giga or a Kaka, as they are much less valuable tames and it is way easier to do it with one of these. You're also probably going to want a net gun. It isn't necessary, but it makes this tame just way easier. Right, once you've found your Rhino Ganatha, make sure it's male, otherwise you cannot get the pheromone from it you need to approach it mounted on your creature. Bring something like a shotgun as well, as you are going to need to kill this creature to get the pheromones out of it. So once you've got up to it, you can just dismount your Bronto and net your Rhino Ganatha. As you can see here, mine was being a little bit annoying, so it might be worth just getting a few extra net guns. Between 5 and 10 should definitely be fine for the whole tame. So, once you've got your Rhino Ganatha netted, you're going to want to use a shotgun or a pike or just any kind of weapon that deals a reasonable amount of damage to take this thing out. I would advise a shotgun as it is the quickest method. There was also a Sarko here, but it wasn't too much of an issue, but just do be prepared as it is the swamp and it can be very unpredictable. As this is a situation that you don't want to get in. But anyway, once you have killed your Rhino Ganatha, you're going to want to take its pheromone out of the inventory, very similar to Wyvern Milk. Once you've done this, you can cry your Bronto, and now all you have to do is wait for a female to spawn on your map. Once you have found your female Rhino Ganatha, you're going to want to bring your Bronto back into the area and then net the female Rhino Ganatha. Except you're going to do something very different this time. Instead of killing it, you are going to bring it down to around 7-8% to of its health. I would advise using a pike for this instead of something like a shotgun as you can be much more precise and you won't accidentally kill this thing. I am using a mod which is called Awesome Spyglass which really helps so if you want it to help taming this thing then you can definitely download it from the Steam Workshop, I will link it below. While it is still in the net you are going to want to feed your tamed creature the pheromone that you got from the male before. Just as a small note, you may need to hit your Rhino Ganatha a little bit more than you need to as they heal really quickly. But anyway, once it is out of its net, you're going to want to wait a safe distance away from your creature while it will impregnate it. You will see orange text appear and it will do a kind of spin attack. Once it has done that, it will leave the area so you're not going to have to worry about killing it or anything like that and your creature will have a very big red glow. This is where you're going to need the resources that I told you to get before. The Rhino Ganatha will have five cravings, but you will need to feed it different items. If you miss one of these, it will lose effectiveness. Once this stage is finished, you will see an animation and your creature will fall to the ground. It will sadly die and the Rhino Ganatha baby, alien style, will pop right out of it. Then, obviously, you just do the standard kind of raising process that is there in ARK. From the start, it will also be 30% raised. You also probably want to give it something to eat because you don't want this thing to die after all the effort that you've just been through taming it. The Rhino Ganatha is quite a late game creature with its saddle at level 90. And that is how to tame a Rhino Ganatha the quickest and easiest way. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.